Hello everyone! In this video, I will introduce one more brand new and amazing element of Cost Calculator Builder. This is the element Geolocation. It enables an availability to ask the geolocation of your users to begin calculations. They can also manually choose the starting and ending points to figure out the distance and cost between two places. This feature is super handy for mover or delivery services. Let's see how to set it up. First, we need to complete the global settings of the geolocation fields. Open the global settings and navigate to geolocation. Choose the map provider. For now, it only works with Google Maps. To get the API keys, we need to generate credentials from Google Cloud's console. Open a new tab and type console.cloud.google.com. If you have projects already, you can use the one. Otherwise, go ahead and create a new one. Now, we need to set up a billing account. Don't worry, actual usage of the Embed API is free of charge. If you have it done already, it's good. But for those who did not, once you click on the billing, you will probably get this pop-up. Go ahead and click on Link Billing Account, then Create Billing Account. Choose the country and proceed by clicking Agree and Continue. In the next step, fill all the required fields, then save and continue. I repeat again, don't worry, the usage of the Embed API is totally free. You can close this pop-up, it's optional. If you see, go to Link Billing Account button, it means you have a billing account now. Using the search bar, search for Google Maps and select this one to reach Google Maps platform. Copy that API and paste it to the designated area in the cost calculator at the same time, you can also indicate to measure unit and save the settings. To prevent unauthorized use, you will be given an opportunity to restrict where this API can be used. It's optional, but recommended to set it up. If you accidentally lost this API key, you can easily get it from the Keys and Credentials section. Go back to APIs and Services tab and enable Maps JavaScript API. That's all, we have successfully set up the integration between Cost Calculator and Google Maps. Now it's time to use the geolocation fields in our calculators. I have built this amazing calculator called Jacob's Pizzas to receive orders for my pizzas, let's assume. Users can easily select the pizzas that they wanted and make their orders. To complete the calculator, the geolocation field is the only thing that is missing. Let me go ahead and add it to this calculator. On the right side, you can see the sidebar which consists of the settings of the element. To the name field, put the name for the geolocation element. Then select one of these three options. What do you want to use the geolocation for? Request user's location. The calculator will let you get the customer's location and determine the distance and the cost from your place to your customer's location. In this case, you need to indicate your location here. Ask users to choose the starting and destination points. In this case, your customers can calculate the distance and the cost between two locations. It can be used for taxi or mover services. Ask to choose one among multiple locations. You can let your customers choose one of multiple locations. They will choose a branch or a pickup point. For now, let's choose the first option and indicate the address where products will be sent from. Next, here comes the most important part, how to calculate the cost. Cost per each kilometer, very simple, kilometers will be multiplied to this number to calculate the cost. Range price for the distance gives you pretty advanced settings. First, you need to indicate the range. For instance, from 0 to 4 kilometers, we will calculate the cost like $5 per kilometer. Let me add another range, and from 5 kilometers to 7 kilometers, cost will be $4 per kilometer. And finally, for more than 8 kilometers, cost will be $3 per kilometer. Now, I will add this element to my total formula as well. Go ahead and save the calculator to see the result. Now, customers can get the delivery to their home by selecting the correct location. All they need to do is to click on the place they want to get the delivery. 
Now you can see the distance between our office and the location selected as well as the price of the delivery. We can also upgrade this calculator more. As you see, we have two delivery options, delivery to home and self-pickup. We have done delivery to home already. Now I will add several locations of my branches so customers can select the convenient one. Based on their choice, I will set up conditions to hide unnecessary fields. To do it, firstly, add one more geolocation, choose the third option and indicate your branches. I will turn on the hidden by default option so later they will be visible once they satisfy conditions. Move to the conditions tab and make connections among delivery types, delivery to home and self pickup. If delivery to home is selected, I will show the delivery location. Same logic can be applied to the self pickup as well. Okay, let me go ahead and save this calculator to see the final result. This is our ready calculator. Let me add some pieces to the order. If I select self pickup option, you can see I have three branches to choose from. In case I select delivery to home, a new field appears and asks me to indicate the location. Additionally, it calculates the cost of the delivery based on the parameters that we have set. In my opinion, it is super convenient to use. The order will be displayed like this in the orders page. If you click on the link, it will bring you to the selected location. Guys, this was the end of our today's tutorial. Support us by smashing the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks for watching.